All right, so let's talk about how this actually works for a church planner, okay? So, it first begins planting. We're actually gonna use a dotted line. And the first thing that goes in the circle is the planter himself, a person with a passion for place. But each of the other things actually remains outside the circle until they actually exist. So I'm gonna draw these other things outside the circle. So, loving, giving, making disciples, ordinances, okay, and then up here we've got worshiping, spending time in God's word, praying, okay. One, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now, a key piece of this is that we are trying to get guys to gather 50 adults in four different groups with 50% new believers. Okay, so this is a big benchmark for us. 50 adults in four groups with 50% new believers. All right, so they are developing this, working toward this benchmark. All right, so let's say we have a guy who is a person with a passion for a place and he has gathered a team. Okay, so they're gathering regularly. All right, we're gonna use this to show where he is. So he's got eight people in one group and they have one believer. So that would be about 10%. All right, so this is kind of a diagnostic. It lets us know where he is. He's gathered a team and, and that's about it. They've gotten together, they've hung out, they've talked a little bit, all right? Now, as they're developing more, now they've gotten into some pretty consistent Bible study and they're praising the Lord even, even through simple ways, um, reading some Psalms together, talking about things they're thankful for and they're praying together. And um, a few more people came and one more believer came. So now two out of 12, what is that? I can't do quick math. We're gonna call it 15. So now this is where they are. Well, they're gonna to continue to develop and these things are going to continue to be put in the circle, okay? And so now they're really sharing the gospel. They've all been trained, they're sharing the gospel. Um, they, they're loving one another, so there's some tangible ways that they've cared for each other and love one another. Um, they set up a way to do their giving, so now that's in there. And he's really been working on developing leaders so now we've got two groups and 22 people and um, nine of those are new believers. So we're up to like 40%. Okay, so this gives us a picture of where someone is. Now, when they get up to 50 with four different groups, led by four different leaders, and that's important. It can't be one guy leading four groups on four different nights. He has to be able to multiply his influence. He has to be able to develop leaders. And then they get up to 50% new believers. Okay, then we're gonna start talking about launching regular Sunday worship gatherings. And that's where they would begin to practice the ordinances at that point. All right, so this is the church development tool. We have to have 50 adults for critical mass. We have to have four groups so that we know we can develop leaders. And we want 50% new believers, but the absolute that we have to have in order to move forward with launching a worship service is multiple. There have to be multiple new believers on the team. When that happens, we would make the dotted line a bold line, and now we're ready to launch.